Hello, this is Psych Central's Ask the Therapist. I'm Dr. Marie Hartwell Walker, and this is my colleague, Dr. Dan Tomasulo. One of the things we've been talking about is the difference between the different types of therapy that um, you can take advantage of. There's individual therapy, there's mm -hmm. couple therapy, and there's group therapy. And they truly are different in their uh, goals and in the process. So I thought maybe we would start, Dan, with talking about individual therapy and um, then maybe do a couple of more videos about the other two. Sure, okay. sure. Well, you know, individual therapy is such a unique uh, relationship between two people, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because the therapist isn't a, a friend, uh, isn't a family member. You, you know, th this person is in a very unique role. And um, the job of an individual therapist is to kind of have all the focus on, on you. Try to understand your social network, your family network, and all like that. But it, it, it's a very personalized approach. And that one person becomes uh, a witness for the client. You know, if you're the therapist, you're basically witnessing that person's uh, pain, their struggle, struggle their growth, everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you, you're there. What happens in individual therapy is that it's usually once a week or once every other week where there's a rather intense encounter where you sort of tease apart different elements. Quite often, it's um, problem focused and mm -hmm. solution focused. I think that's changing, by the way. I think mm -hmm. there's you know more talk now about uh, helping to strengthen uh, a person's character development mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. But basically, it's it, it's very tailored and 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 focused on one person's life and story, right? Uh, on the good news side, uh, if you're a little bit lost or not able to get feedback from family, friends, and this yeah. and that, or you've exhausted that already. <laughs> That's true. Here's a person that is very uh, clean yeah. in the sense that they don't have any spin on this. Uh, they're not, they don't have any other agenda No with agenda, this. no, the, yeah, you know? right. And so the, the main feature of that is that you can have this intense encounter and then go away for a week or two and ponder it and think about it and experiment with things and then come on back into this environment and uh, talk with one person about how it went and, and how did it, you know, how did it go. That, I think, is really good for very specific issues and problems, mm -hmm. and I think it works really well. But when we talk about the other elements in group therapy and couple therapy, there are very different dynamics that go and, on and, there. And, and different um, possibilities and also different goals. Mm -hmm. The individual work, uh, as you said, centers on the person's experience and how they might do things a little differently. Yes. And often part of individual therapy is sending the individual out with, well, why don't you try this? Try this, right. And come back and we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. And then the person can process that and mm -hmm. then adjust it. Right. And again, it's very individually focused mm -hmm. and there's real value to that. Right. Yeah. Exactly.